In Genesis, he's the breath of life. In Exodus, he is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is our high priest. In Numbers, he is the fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is Moses' voice. In Deuteronomy, he is salvation's choice. In Judges, he is the lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. In the Kings and Chronicles, he is our sovereign. In Ezra, he is our true and faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of broken walls and broken lives. In Esther, he is Mordecai's courage. In Job, he is our timeless redeemer. In the book of Psalm, he is our morning song. In Proverbs, he is a wisdom cry. Ecclesiastes, he's the time and the season. The song of Solomon, he's the lover's dream. In Isaiah, he is the prince of peace. In Jeremiah, he is a weeping prophet. In Lamentations, he is the cry for Israel. In in Ezekiel, he is the call from sin. In Daniel, he's a stranger in the fire. In Hosea, he is forever faithful. In Amos, he is the arms that carry us. In Obadiah, he is our Lord and Savior. In Jonah, he is the great missionary. In Micah, he is the promise of peace. In Nahum, he is our strength and he is our shield. In Habakkuk and Zephaniah, he is pleading for revival. In Haggai, he restores a lost heritage. And in Zechariah, he's our fountain. In Malachi, he is the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. Notice, he is, he is, he is all that we need. In the New Testament, in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he is God, he is man, he is Messiah. In the book of Acts, he is a fire from heaven. In Romans, he is the grace of God. In the, in the Corinthians, he is the power of love. In Galatians, he is the freedom from the curse of sin. In Ephesians, he's our glorious treasure. In Philippians, he's a servant's heart. In Colossians, he's the Godhead Trinity. In Thessalonians, he is our coming king. In Timothy, Titus, and Philemon, he is our mediator and our faithful pastor. In Hebrews, he's our everlasting covenant. In James, he's the one who heals the sick. In First and Second Peter, he is our shepherd. In John and Jude, Jude, he is the lover coming for his bride. In the book of the Revelation, he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's my Jesus.